Hey everybody, I'm Big Golden Plays Civilization 6 Rise and Fall continues with our Egyptian playthrough here. We're at war in Japan. Hey, we can finally move this friend along here. Um, but so far, I feel okay about our war with Japan. We did manage to get a little bit going here. Peter's finished the Coliseum. Alright. Let's see. We gotta move our little chariot archers up here. Can we? oh yeah, we can easily kill this. We don't have like a melee force to move forward and take the rest of these cities, but we've done a good bit of damage here. Of that, I am very proud of my people. Uh, what were we gonna do here? We were gonna chop this but we want to wait for Magnus so that's still a couple turns away we're checking things out with our little scout friend here Robert the Bruce does not like that we're at war with our neighbor that's his prerogative but he should mind his own business because we got important things we have to do involving being at war with our neighbor and if he has a problem with that, uh, maybe he should just mind his own business. Have you ever thought of that, Robert the Bruce? Just minding your own business. That'd be a weird game. <laughs> he just doesn't care about anything I've done. We want to try to remain, like, we want an al uh, alliance with Russia... If bread is the first necessity we want to try to have life. as many friends as possible. Oh, Spain can be a friend here. Let's go ahead and friend up with Spain. Let's see. Alright, so we have some friendships here. That's good. We want to turn them into alliances. We want to... Let's see. We want to make use of all of our uh, our little extra bonuses that we get for being Cleopatra slash Egypt. So let's see. We have one. We have two warriors. We have a slew of uh, chariot archers. By a slew, I count four up here at least. And let's see. What uh, what type of wonders might we like along the way? What else can we think of here? I think we just go recorded history right now, but is there anything long term we really need? We'll figure it out. We're building our amphitheater. Let's go ahead and shop for it. How much does it cost us to buy... A settler. It is 475. Because we need to be expanding here. We have territory. We have the uh, Ancestral Hall, I think it is. That gives us bonuses. <coughs> we need to try to cover our territory here. Get as much as we can going. So we got Suzy status with Antioch. Uh, we could become Suzy's with, uh, with Brussels here. So I think we'll do that. We're the best of friends. Alright. I need to get... Another builder. 95 uh, faith for that. Okay. We're very close. To that number. Let's see what we can do up here. I think we'll be okay, honestly. We just need to... Move in, take what we can here, take it by force. Everything will work itself out. Excuse me. There's not a whole lot of space to move around here. Spain, you have a lot of units. They occupy a lot of territory. Slightly alarming. Not that big a deal. 
All right, so I guess we'll continue our shenanigans up here. Let's see, it would be faster for you to go this way than it will be for the archer to get into a firing spot. And we have another friend that can join us. Let's go check out over here. We still have a couple people to meet, I think. We can make peace with him? I don't know, I think we should maybe try to pressure his city up here. I'm not looking for a conquest in this game, really, but getting some extra territory here is definitely good long-term for us. So I will kind of prioritize at least. You know, if I can get Kyoto, I think I'm... I'm happy with whatever happens down here. Just want your capital is all. That's all it takes to make a girl happy. Nothing crazy. You're sending out the settler. I'm proud of you, sir. Oh, speaking of such a thing. We can now purchase a settler. And then, should we build a settler here in our capital? We should get a commercial hub, probably. Abadana would also be pretty good for us. <laughs> Let's see, what if we put a wonder here? Uh, then we could put a sphinx here. Or we could put a wonder here, put a sphinx here. I don't know, let's put it, uh... Put it over here. Get our Oppidana going. You move in, sir. And... I guess here, we can move you back a spec, uh, a sec. To get you a level. Kyoto, you have a very high defense here. That's slightly alarming. Oh, and some of you have been posting challenges and whatnot. I appreciate that. <coughs> I, uh... I'm definitely interested in what you guys have been putting out there. So keep them coming. Uh, great ideas so far. And I'm always looking for more things to do in the future. So appreciate what you guys have been posting there. Let's see, we should not get him killed. send you over here for a second okay they have a horseman here come on archer you didn't die we really need this amphitheater but at the same time i think we really need settlers out here so how are we gonna do this by the way Uh, we really wanted this spot right here, so I'm gonna send this settler over here. We want the two sources of iron, and then, you know, that's potentially an interesting location. We also should probably think about our parks. Uh, we're not gonna be able to get a park over here, even though, because we're gonna want this iron. Well, we could grab this one and, and make use of that as a park, potentially. But the point of settling here was to grab this nice tile and use it. I mean, at some point we could move the remove the mine from it, so it's not that big a deal. Now that I think about it a little bit, uh, so we're up here. We need this to be able to grow some more, but we'd, we could definitely use. I mean, there's a lot we could use over here. At the moment, to be honest. Let me go ahead and purchase a building in our capital. Ooh. All right, so 
He's just leaving this horseman over here, which is good for us. One man's <coughs> magic Excuse me. is another. What are we doing? I guess you could just pillage this for health here. Let's get this guy to kill. This. Yeah, you've got horsemen out, which is uh, annoying for us. If we shift some guys around here, we should be able to cut off any sort of healing in this town. We need to block these three from... We just need to move him over one spot. Alright, I feel now is the time for... Hmm, let's just grab sailing at the moment. While we think about our crimes. Alright, I want to get over here and start pelting this city. So the bad things about chariot archers are that they have to be on, like, open land. You can't just have them on a road and expect them to be successful. Which is unfortunate. Okay, if I chop this, I can put a sphinx down. <clears throat> and then this sphinx would be pretty good because we're going to have, hopefully, hopefully, knock on wood, two wonders here. And as far as I know, that means that it'll be like... Plus a significant amount of faith. Alright, he sent the horseman out. We should try to kill this horseman. If I move you up here, this might block. Yeah, it did block it. Okay, the horseman threat is done with. And we've blocked the territory here. What's your attack look like? Not worth doing right now. I want crossbowmen probably, so let's go for machinery. And then over here, what are we looking at? Probably looking at healing ourselves. Seems like the reasonable course of action right now. So this is three faith. Does this... The thing I'm wondering right here, does this faith compound with this? And I thought it did, but I might be wrong. But that's why I was interested in seeing that placed there. Alright, we need to kill I've your troops. Through some terrible things in Recorded history here. We're still getting a bonus from this, so we'll keep it, uh... What? Are we making troops at all? We're not currently making troops at all. Government. That's religion. Government. Uh... I feel like we should make a wave... ...of settlers here, so... Yeah. Something like that would be interesting to me. Oh no, somebody beat us to our, our wonder here. Alright, we couldn't get Apadana in time. The Great Library. Let's go ahead and get a commercial hub here. Or a campus. I want more trade. But I need more science. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and put a commercial hub down here next to our government uh, district. And that's unfortunate that we didn't get it, but whatever. It's not the end of the world. It's just slightly rough. We'll chop this. We will take... We can get extra culture and science from trade routes. I think that's okay. We do want to try to get to humanism pretty quickly as well. 
lots of things to target for us here. <clears throat> Let's see, how much damage can we do? Let's go ahead and kill you off and make sure we protect this warrior. We might still be able to take this this turn. And we did. Keep the city. Yes, please. Well played, my friends. We are going to need to move. Oh, we have a, uh, a spot here. Let's pick up another governor then and bring them up here for now. Make peace, no thank you. We need to get your capital. I don't know how easily we're gonna be able to take the capital. My guess is uh, not very easily. We're gonna need to surround it for sure. Ooh, plenty of troops over here that we need to deal with. That's good to know. And we'll work towards killing the troops. Let's send you back to help out our other cities. And we need the market to be able to get another trade route. I'd like to get another settler here, so let's do that first and then the market. Since we are getting the bonus towards making them right now, we should uh, we should work on this. A wave of settlers here. And so this faith is mainly useful for when we get monumentality, which right now we currently have for a bit. I don't know how long we'll have it, but obviously to the end of this era at least. I just don't happen to know how long that's going to be. Let's just deal with all these troops. Killing troops is the important part over here. And then we will be able to surround the city and do some put in some good work. But one step at a time. We work with what we've got. Grenada, what are you using here? I'm gonna upgrade this, so let's make sure you're definitely keeping that going. And sir, you just need to hold this city right now while we work on Kyoto. You're gonna turn into a free city probably before we finish it off, but uh, <coughs> if we can take down Kyoto, it'll all be worth it. At least that's the, that's the hope, the hopes and dreams. All right, so let's try to surround the city as best we can. We've got one more tile that if we occupy it, we should just have it surrounded. And then we can deal with them with archers of the chariot variety. Oh, you're a Japanese scout. Didn't expect to run into you over here for some reason. Uh, okay, so this is the nearing the end of this era here let's go ahead and purchase more builders and try to get used to chopping over here so if you guys just scooch yeah now it's locked in here now they don't know what hit them did you have a yeah 
an upgrade there. I don't think you did, but I, at a glance, they actually, maybe you did. It's hard to tell. So we're just gonna let this, uh, we're gonna let this flip over. And we'll deal with that later. Let's see, I wanna move you guys. I'd prefer if the warriors did not fight me. We need to kill this horseman. Nice job, everyone. Okay, you did have a, an upgrade here. All right, so we have it surrounded. As long as we can kill off any horsemen and he, he brings, we should be able to take it. And then we can retake our uh, city we lost there. And things will be good. Things will be real good. They'll be looking up for us. Here, so you just hang out in this city. I know you're not supposed to be there according to the game rules, but... Paraxis broke it at some point, and so you just get to stay there and hang out and be safe. How do you lead such a boring people? Too mean! Moutero! We've got all sorts of cool... Have you seen our pyramids? Have you seen our sphinxes? They're pretty neat. Pingala. Connoisseur. Where are you at, brother? And Reyna, we should assign you to a city as well. Let's assign you up here to Grenada. Alright, would you not walk over here with your... Warriors and your... Coming out to play. Dude, this is ours. No doubt about it. No ifs, ands, buts. Or other such types of words about it right, we want another settler here we might be going too heavy handed with settlers but you know we're working we're working on spreading out the love here we need as many friendly cities in this area as we can get Are you really at a minus nine up here? If I, if, I guess it's from Spain. That just seems harsh. A minus nine. We could drop our... Oh yeah, we wanted to put a city up here. So let's send this one to this little spot. Because we wanted to complete our little dumb canal area here. Apology canal, I didn't mean to call you the dumb. The Lord made is all You're a nice little canal. We're gonna fix our monument. Get a granary. This city is not very good at growing. That's for sure. Alright, let's see. We need to get this warrior into range. I would like to Use these ones that are over here first. You, oh, can we get in here? This is mine. Keep the city. All right, so we made it out of Dark Age territory, but we're now ten points away from Golden Age. Let's go ahead and move Reyna into here. Uh, and then we'll look at taking this back. And I mean, we've done some real damage here. So hopefully, hopefully they don't make it into a golden age and take it back, you know, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Plus three error score from settling over here. Nice. Nice. Uh, 
Uh, so we're making more settlers. That's good. We maybe could have made peace with them there and then taken and held just these. I might do that. I might Harald take that good deal. Harald is here. I forgot to say I just hit escape instead of saying hello, my friend. My friend. There we go. Do we have a deal we could make with you to try to maybe make you friendly with us? Um, you seem like a man who likes his, uh, his cotton. I'm looking at your apparel and it looks like a very cotton-friendly getup you have going. And I, I believe that's uh, an accurate assessment based on how much you're willing to trade me for it. You're a man who loves his cotton. And we'll accept that. We'll accept that all day. I would like to get iron, which we are about to get, and I would like to upgrade my friendly neighborhood warriors. Why do I have to say it like that? Good question. I don't have an answer for you, honestly. It's just kind of fun. You guys move along. Nothing to see here. Should we? De I think we might declare peace with them and get that trade deal going. Cause that was a was a goodly amount of resources here. Seed your cities. Oh, cause he's not in very good shape right now. We've taken his capital. He's got. It looks like maybe a few other cities available. We make peace, and now Robert the Bruce is happy with us again. So it's a win-win for, for that, I think. Although, if we had... You know, maybe that was a mistake, because if we had wiped him out in the few... I don't think we were going to be able to wipe him out in the few turns. But if we could have, it might have pushed us into Golden Age territory here. Not that we're going to necessarily not get it, but probably we're not going to get it. If you have to put me on trial, I'd have to say... Probably we're not going to get that. I don't know why you'd be putting me on trial over a Civ game. Be kind of rude. But, uh... I don't know. It happens. We need to try to get as much forward territory as we can here, too, to help the loyalty situation. Um, we're probably going to have problems with our Golden Age neighbor there. He likes to stir up trouble we need to get as much culture as we can which we're working at we have our iron here so we can now do this can we get five more era score here in five turns i think the answer is no but i'm not gonna give up hope for it you know there's always a possibility here Start moving you guys in. <laughs> you just hang out over here, my dude. It's cool. You guys chill out right now? Chillax? You've done an excellent job so far. We're gonna purchase another building. Loving every second of it. Alright, we'd like to get more and more going here if possible. So we got a, a nice uh, resource here, which probably we're using, right? Yeah, even though it's gonna not let us grow very fast. But that's a solid tile to use, so... I respect your decision-making process game on that one. We'll see. Let's take a look at where everybody is real quick. 
Air is ending in three turns. We need five points for it. I don't think we're going to get it. So we're probably going to be in a normal age. We're at 26 science per turn. Harald's 24. Japan's 13. Russia's 20. 27 to fill up. 30. 34. And on net player, we don't know. So we're right in a good, uh, the sweet spot here for science. We're getting a good amount. 37 culture per turn and three tourism. Eight culture, 21, 39. So he's a little, Spain's a little ahead of us here. 30, 67 from Peter. He's doing really well there. And 56 from Lautaro. So yeah, we got some catching up to do here in the culture. We want to try to be a number one. You know how that goes. Hojo's at the bottom of the chart now with 176. We're slightly, we're basically in the middle here, 234. Uh, up at the top is uh, 299, so we're in a good place, and we have a good up, uh, upward mobility here. Culturally, we still haven't met the last person, so we can't be getting tourists yet, but we're hopefully going to do that soon. We need to send, we need to get our scout probably up here in the northern section of the map is my guess. And religion's not a big deal. So that's it for this one, guys. Like the video if you're enjoying it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And I'll catch you guys next time. Later!